Hello friends, Miss Mishki here, back again to celebrate Black History Month with you and teach you about some Black heroes from this book, 51 Inspiring People from Ancient Africa to Modern Day USA by Arlisha Norwood, PhD. Happy Friday if you're watching this with me in real time in February. Did you know, and you probably did, that we have a three-day weekend this weekend? Did you know why? It's President's Day. What's President's Day? Well, it's a day off from school in our state and all the states except for, I think, 13 for some reason don't celebrate it. I digress. President's Day is the third Monday in February. It's like originally kind of close to Washington's birthday. And then they started celebrating Lincoln too. And now it's kind of recognized as this day where we celebrate the lives of all of our U.S. presidents. Um, so guess which hero that I'm going to do from this book today. That's right, President Barack Obama. All right, Barack Obama was born in 1961 in Hawaii to an American mother and a Kenyan father. Barack was an excellent student throughout his childhood in Hawaii, and he even spent some time living with his family abroad, which means overseas. Barack had, a, had big goals after he graduated high school, and he decided to attend Occidental College in Los Angeles before transferring to Columbia University in New York City. But he wasn't done studying yet. After Columbia, Barack went to law school at Harvard, where he became the first African American to lead the Harvard Law Review. Once he finished law school, um, Barack moved to Chicago, where he worked to support local communities. In 1996, Barack began his career in politics to continue helping the communities that he loved. He served three terms in the Illinois State Senate before becoming a United States Senator in 2005. Then in 2008, Barack Obama was elected the 44th president and the first African-American president of the United States. After he took office, Barack faced many challenges. His biggest challenge was the Great Recession, which lasted from 2007 to 2009, a time of extreme financial trouble and high unemployment for the country. During this time, Americans relied on Barack's leadership to guide them through a stock market crash and uncertain futures for many industries and banks. Barack also worked hard to advance international diplomacy while he was president. In 2009, he was actually awarded a Nobel Peace Prize for his diplomatic efforts. Throughout his political career, Barack Obama encountered intense racism but he did not let it slow him down. His presidency demonstrated a big change in race relations all around the world. People reacted to his success with hope and excitement. At home in the US, many people were and still are today inspired by the election of an African American president. Here's a quote from Barack Obama. Keep exploring, keep dreaming. Keep asking why. Don't settle for what you already know. Never stop believing in the power of your ideas, your imagination, your hard work to change the world. So you can find a ton of resources to learn more about Barack Obama, but one of the coolest ones is this book that he wrote, and it is called Of The I Sing, A Letter to My Daughters. And so you can hear his perspective in his own words, and it is a Wonderful book. Okay, so happy Friday. I have some shout outs. Um, today, it's Friday. I'm going to share some art. So that's going to pop up on the screen. And I got, um, but before that, before that, okay. I actually heard from uh, many teachers um, just in passing that this Black Heroes little video is sparking some really great conversations. It makes my heart so happy to hear. And I wanna give a big shout out to Mrs. Chambers class. I heard that you were having some awesome discussions. And it's just, it's so important for us to learn about black heroes. Um, you know, Black History Month, we tend to focus a lot on slavery and the civil rights and a few big moments, a few key people. So I'm just hoping that this is helping you to have a better understanding of all the contributions that African Americans have made to this country, because it's plentiful. Anyway, let's get on with some art. I'm gonna show you some art from two different third grade classes at Opportunity Elementary. 
Mr. Walters and uh, Mrs. Thompson's classes both created some art, so here it is. And receiving this art, just, oh my goodness, take a look at this. This is just, makes my heart so happy. It makes me feel so inspired. So I will definitely, definitely be back next week with more heroes from this book, Black Heroes, 51 Inspiring People from Ancient Africa to Modern Day USA. Guys, I'm not being paid to tell you about this book, but I think you should get it. And, uh, you know, like and subscribe and email me what you're doing to celebrate Black History Month. I'd love to hear more from you. Take care. Have a good long weekend. Stay safe and keep learning. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.